kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part five of my video series on WhatsApp status saver app using Android Studio. Alright, guys. So here we will start from where we had left, and uh, here we are now going to start uh, writing the code for the adapter for our secular views. So let's go to our adapter and click New Java class, and here we name it as Image Adapter. Okay, so here inside this image adapter, first of all, let me write the code for. And we first of all need to extend it with recycler view dot adapter, and here we will say image adapter dot image view holder okay so now first of all we need to create this class image view holder and we need to extend it with Recycler view dot view holder, and now we can uh, hover the mouse here and and uh, press Alt Enter and click Create Constructor Matching Super. Here now we have this uh, default uh, constructor, and then uh, before and now click uh, here and press Alt Enter and implement all these three methods. So now we have all this method. Okay, so now we need a layout for our item. So go to layout and click new and create layout resource file and for this we can name it as item underscore status. Okay, so now we need this uh, status. I mean the item status uh, layout. We need to have it. So let me close all the other here and let's first of all uh, we will be using the card view so here we have this uh, uh, card view here and it will be its width will be let me okay so now its width will be match parent but its height will be custom so we can say dimens 220 dp no we need it to be 120 stp okay M make sure that you use this library so it will automatically optimize the view size so after this uh, they, there are some other attributes which we need to for the card view so first of all we can have the card corner radius and it will be dimension 10 SDP and then the margin will also be 10 SDP alright and then here we will be using the relative layout first of all so here we have the relative layout for the match parent and match parent and inside this first of all we will use a relative layout again and its id will be let's say rl1 okay so inside this uh, uh, relative layout we are going to use the image view so for this image view we are going to use match parent and match parent because we need uh, to fill it so for this and we can say scale type will be uh, centered crop and let's set the id to be iv thumbnail okay so and after this image view we are now going to use the image 
button so here we can say image button and it will be wrap content wrap uh, content and it id will be ib save to gallery and then we can say align parent bottom it will be true and then we can say align parent end and it will also be true then we can have align parent right it will also be true and then we can set the padding and it will be 2 sdp so for the padding we can simply say mm, 2 sdp and yes and yes we need the drawable for the save so go to new and click on image asset and there we click on action bar and tab layout and from there click part we need to select the save one and click ok and make sure that you select this hollow line because we need the dark gray and let's name it as I see save click next and click on finish and then we can have it like we can see source and drawable will be IC save all right so after this we put it inside our relative layouts and that's it all right so that one will be our uh, item uh, I mean the view then what we are now need to do is we need to go to our image adapter class and here we need to have the default uh, constructor so for this we can first of all we can say private final list and it will be of type status model and then we can say image list and then we need a context we will send this context from our activity to this adapter I mean from the fragment to this adapter and then we have this image fragment image fragment all right and then we need we can have the constructor so we can say public image adapter and here first of all we will have context then we will have list status mm -hmm model and we name it as image list then we will have the image fragment image fragment so now we can simply say this dot context equal to context then we can say this dot image list equal to image list then finally we can say this dot image fragment equal to image fragment alright and then inside our own create view folder we need to inflate our view so for this we can say view v equal to layout inflator dot from and from there we can pass our context and then we can say dot inflate or dot layout dot make sure that you import the uh, the source here and then we can say our dot item status and then we pass in the view group and finally we pass the false here and then finally we simply say return new image view folder and inside this we can pass our view okay so after this inside our get item count we need to uh, return the length of the array so we can simply say image list dot size and after this inside our own bind view folder so before that we need to have some uh, views here inside our image view holder class so first of all here we will have we need to use the button type so we can say dot iv thumbnail and it will be image view iv thumbnail image view and then we can simply say uh, bind view r dot id dot ib save to gallery and it's the 
I think it is an image button. It is the image button, so we can say image button image button download and then here we can initialize our butter knife so we can say item view this is the way of uh, binding the views then for the on click listener we will do that later so here inside our own bind view holder method now we need to uh, write the code so we can say status model status model equal to image list dot get i here we have this uh, view i mean the status model here and finally we can simply say holder i mean image view holder dot image but uh, thumbnail view dot set image bitmap and here we can simply say status model dot get thumbnail okay so this is the way and i guess that is enough for this video okay so i complete the adapter so i we need to go back to our image fragment and inside this we now need to call the adapter so for this first of all we can say image adapter image adapter and then we need to initialize it and set our circular view to this adapter so for this we can simply say image adapter equal to new image adapter and here we can pass our context then we can pass image array uh, image model array list and then we pass the image fragment dot this all right and finally we can say circular view dot set adapter and we pass the image adapter here and we can also say image adapter dot mm -hmm. notify data set change all right so i think that is enough for this video i will show the output in our next part of the video series so if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you goodbye